Hi, I'm Hyunji, and in today's video, I'll take you behind the scenes and show you my virtual teaching space. It was really important to me that my setup was simple and portable. I don't have the luxury of having a large room to teach in, so I had to make sure my setup worked in a smaller area. I'll show you what equipment I use and what's been working for me. So I hope this video can give you some ideas as you are setting up your own virtual teaching space. After experimenting with many different setups, I ended up settling on this rolling floor stand from Viazon. You do have to assemble the parts, but it can be done quite easily. It's a bit pricey, but the quality is top notch. The bottom plate is extremely sturdy and well built, and the wheels are a bonus. The stand has two arms, a longer arm that holds a tablet and a shorter arm that holds a laptop. There is also a smaller clasp that can hold a phone that is included as well. The stand arm allows for a huge range of movement, which is also very convenient. It allows me to have everything in one place without any clutter. I wasn't able to find many stands like this that can consolidate everything into one. As a result, I also ended up transitioning my notes and sheet music onto my iPad, where I could read music and also share notes via Zoom. Currently, I am using the sheet music app called Fourscore, and I absolutely love it. I also double this as a sofa desk or a standing desk, so I get a lot of different uses out of this rolling floor stand. Next is my mic. I am using the Zoom H4n Pro. I love that it could function both as a good quality cardioid mic that recorded in stereo mode and an external recorder. To use it with my MacBook, I connect it with the USB cable it comes with and use it as an audio interface. After connecting, a screen should pop up on the Zoom to connect to my MacBook. I always have my earpods on, which act as my speakers during Zoom lessons. Then I use a webcam I have connected to my MacBook. I found that it was difficult to use the camera attached to the MacBook because I would have to change the entire screen to alter the angle of the camera, whereas with the webcam, I could change the angle of the webcam without having to tilt the screen. This webcam was generously lent to me by my student. I connect both the webcam and Zoom H4n Pro through a USB-C hub adapter. For lighting, I mostly use natural light or the room lights, but if you are teaching at night, you may want to set up a ring light or LED lights like these from Newer to get more high quality lighting. One of the greatest advantages of this setup is that you can teach with whatever backdrop you want. You aren't confined to a specific location. So even if every other part of your room is messy, you can choose the prettiest corner and still teach comfortably. I know many, many musicians are transitioning to online virtual teaching during this time and find it challenging to find a good setup. So I hope this video gave you a couple ideas on setting up your own virtual teaching space wherever you are. So if anything in this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to stay notified about the next video. Thank you for watching.